In this illustration, we intend to simulate stainless steel beam to column bolted connection under monotonic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the model includes beam, column, end plate, and bolt. In this question, the beam has been connected to end plate by weld, and end plate is connected to the column by bolts. In this question, a monotonic loading is applied to the end of the beam, and then moment rotation diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the moment rotation diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are quite in conformity with the experimental results. In this, in this picture, the deformation of the model can be observed. In this picture, the deformation obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. As you observe, there is a good conformity between the results obtained from the Abacus software with, with experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Behavior of Stainless Steel Beam to Column Bolted Connections Part 1 Simplified FE Model. In this picture, you can observe the moment diagram drawn in the article. In this picture, the model having been simulated in the Abacus software can be observed. In the next step, I'll click on Create Part. I intend to create a geometric shape of bolts. Here, I'll select solid and revolution. Enter approximate size equal to 200 millimeters and continue. As you observe in this table, the diameter of bolts is equal to 16 millimeters. So I will enter the radius of bolts equal to 8 millimeters. Click on rotate instance, uh, select column, done. First, select this point, then this one, and enter angle of rotation equal to 90 degrees. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of end plate into the assembly section and OK. I will click on translate instance, select end plate, done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. I will click on Translate Instance, select End Plate, Done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. I will click on Translate Instance, select Beam, Done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. I will click on Mechanical menu, select Elasticity and Elastic. Young modulus is equal to uh, 205,700 megapascal. 
the Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, select Plasticity and Plastic. Yield stress is equal to 263 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 651 megapascal. As you observe here, the results obtained from the Abacus software as is very similar to the results inferred from the article. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB, History Output, and Continue. Here, I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As. Select Sum. In the next step, I will select Displacement and click on Save As. I'll click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and continue. Here, I will select Displacement, then divide that by uh, 1470 millimeters. Actually, this figure indicates the distance between the place of loading to the column. I will click on Save As. In the next step, I'll select total force and multiply that by 1.47 meters. And as already mentioned, this figure refers to the distance between the place of loading to the column.
In the next step, uh, I will click on Combine. First, I will select Rotation and then Moment. I will put one negative sign here and one here. And click on Save As. Here you observe the rotation moment diagram in which the horizontal axis indicates rotation and the vertical axis is moment. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is rotation, the unit of which is radian. The second column is moment, the unit of which is newton meter. Here, the diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to the experimental results, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.